Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business. Welcome back to the channel. Today in QuickBooks Point of Sale, we are going to do a mass bulk photo import on our inventory items using the avenue of the ALU. And by that I mean the ALU field is going to be our key field. ALU stands for alternate lookup. Some people might also call this a SKU, stock keeping unit, I don't know. But if you open up any item within QuickBooks point of sale, you will find that there is an ALU field. A lot of times people will put a manufacturer part number in there. You can see on this purple boot item, we've got SC-33445. So that's an example of an ALU. Uh, before we jump into it, I'm going to have you click on the link down in the description below to get over to our QuickBooks point of sale Facebook group. Join up there and ask any question you like. Thousands of people who are also running QuickBooks point of sale will jump into the conversation and help you with uh, any problems you're having. You can also feel free to request videos for this channel over there. Uh, if you're on YouTube today, don't forget to hit subscribe so you get all the latest, greatest QuickBooks point of sale videos coming at you all the time. Okay, let's do this. I have a folder with some pictures in it. There are only five pictures in my example, but... You could do this with hundreds of pictures or thousands of pictures. You could fill up your entire item list and have picture. Now, why are pictures good to have in point of sale? Well, I will tell you that when you're ringing up, the picture comes up and you can see what it is, so it helps you identify it. Or if you're looking on your item list and you're not quite sure what something is, there's the picture, so you can go out in your store and find it. Uh, if you are looking at your item list, up in the, the item info here, we can see that we have no picture right now. If you don't even see this little square here on yours, then you need to turn pictures on in your preferences. So, <clears throat> I've got five items. I have mostly set, uh, well, I set these three. I already put the ALUs in, but I was just going to kind of show you how it works. So I got a QuickBooks hat, and I'm going to look that up. I took a picture of it. Actually, it's on my head right now. It is the QuickBooks hat. It's this one right here. And so I can see the ALU here. And I'm going to show you exactly how we're naming the picture. I'm just going to copy the ALU. And over here on my picture, I am actually going to paste that. Now it is named correctly. And then the other item that I still have to do is the duster. I'm going to hit edit. And I'm going to copy the ALU. And right here, I'm going to paste it as my picture name. So there, they are all named now the ALUs of these products. So, <clears throat> I'm going to head on the file menu to Utilities and Import and hit Next. Now we're not importing items, we're not importing customers, we are importing item pictures. Now on this next screen, I already have that folder selected, but you're going to browse to the picture folder that you have. These are some of the different methods that you can line up the picture names with. I have done ALU today. And so I'm going to hit next. What I want to do is import the default main picture. You can actually have an alternate backup picture, but I'm not doing anything with that today. So when an item already has a picture, I want to import the new picture and discard the old one. Uh, you can also keep the old one or you can ask it to let you decide. I just want to overwrite it. Now it found five good ones. If it, doesn't, if it finds some that don't match the criteria or the naming scheme, they are going to be down below. And I'm going to tell it to go ahead and import. There we go. Finish. Now if I head to my item list, and let's say I look up that QuickBooks hat right here, I can see there is my picture has automatically been imported. I can look up the duster, and that's been imported. I can look up uh, my Mountain Dew from 1997, that's been imported. So there you see, now, just a quick example, if I'm making a sale, I can ring up my duster, there's the picture. I can ring up my Mountain Dew, there's the picture. 
there's my special mug. There's the picture. The picture's really tiny on my screen because I have a 4K screen, but on most of your point of sale screens, that picture's gonna come up quite a bit bigger. But there you have it. You could import hundreds or thousands of pictures all at once. My name's Peter with BlackRock Business, and I hope this was helpful to you. You have an excellent day now. Bye-bye.